Tulsa will go from left to right here to start things off. So we are just about ready to get started here. Tulsa and ORU in the 39th Mayor's Cup. The men for TU won just last week. See if the women can't do it as Tulsa wins a tip. Lewis has it in the high post, goes down to the right side, throws it off the glass and cannot get it to go off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Macy Gore. Gore passes to her left and gets it back. Gore at the point, passes over to her right, tried to lob one in into Bretons. It's knocked out of bounds by Elliott. And it'll stay here. So ORU ball underneath the basket. Gore looking to inbound. Having a little bit of trouble and finally able to find Sarah Garvey. Garvey moves back to the middle of the floor. Passes over to her right to Riley Torrey. Torrey tried to drive and was cut off. Now passes over to her right. Back to Gore. Looks down low and Breton's cutting to the basket. A nice look and an easy basket. And ORU is up 2 to nothing. 9-18 left in the first quarter. Right side, Maddie Biddle moves to the wing and up to the top of the key for Morgan Brady and now to Lewis in the high post. Thought about taking the shot and said passes it back to Maddie Biddle and she misses off towards the left side and another rebound here for Gore. Gore on the left side for Lippy. Lippy looking to drive and she travels. And just shuffle those feet real quick before that first dribble and so it's Tulsa ball. Off turnover, Tulsa trailing 2-0. One minute and one second into the game. So here comes Golden up the floor. Golden in between the circles, passing to her right to Lewis. Lewis in the right corner, passing back up towards the top of the key. Elliott over to the left side. Now looking down low is Golden just a bit too high for Lewis out of bounds. And the turnover gives ORU back the ball. Golden Eagles lead the Golden Hurricane. 2-0, 8.40 left in the first quarter. Macy Gore passes right side to Riley Torrey and up to the top of the key, Lippy. Left side, Garvey. Garvey in some trouble, able to find on the left side, Torrey, and have a three-second violation. Bretons was camping out in the lane, and so Tulsa ball on the turnover. Tulsa trailing 2 nothing. minute and 32 seconds into the game. It's Tulsa's 0 for 2 from the field. Golden passing right side to Brady. Brady towards the corner. Now looking down low into Lewis. Lewis backing her way down on the right block. Goes up off the glass and good, and we're tied at two. 8-10 left in the first quarter. Bring the ball up the floor is Gore, the freshman. Passes to the top of the key. Lippy left side on to Torrey. Torrey into the high post. Bretons passes back out. Torrey takes the three. It's too strong off the backboard first. And... Falling to the floor was Brady on the rebound and had to pass from her back and got it up to Elliott, who nearly lost it, but Golden is there to help out. Right side, into the short corner, Lewis. Lewis backing her way down again, back out to Biddle. Cross-court pass, top of the key. Elliott passes off to the guard and Brady. Brady met by a double team, Pat looks to pass out of it and does. Golden right side, five to shoot, comes off the screen. Passes off to Lewis. Lewis has to take the shot and does not get it off. Well, didn't hit the rim anyway. As Tulsa was just unaware that the shot clock was winding down. So still tied at two. 7.25 left in the first. After the turnover on the shot clock violation. Bringing the ball up the floor here is Lippy Passing left side to Torrey. Torrey looking down low. Trying to get it in to Bretons and it's knocked out of bounds. It's Coming out from around her was Kendry and Elliott. Knocks it out of bounds on the sideline, and so that's where Lippy will look to inbound. Does into Gore at the point, passing back at, over to Lippy. Lippy into the high post, Bretons. Turns, faces the basket at the, fifth, at the free throw line, down the right side of the lane. Goes up off the glass and good. And Elliott did a good job there of not committing a foul. It would have been an easy one to commit a foul on, but ORU now leads 4-2. to two. Seven minutes left of the first quarter. Golden driving the baseline, leaves it. And a little mid-range jumper there from Lewis is good from the left side. Tied up at four again, 6.46 left in the first quarter. Oh, maybe backcourt violation there would have been very close as it gets to Lippy, top of the key. She takes a three off to the side, and rebound nearly goes out of bounds, but Brady is able to corral it. Tied up at four, Tulsa trying to take the lead. Brady 
Passing over to the left side, Golden, top of the key, wide open. Golden takes the, or excuse me, it's Elliott taking the three, and she airballs it short out of bounds. And now ORU has a couple of subs. Katie Kirkhart comes into the game, as well as Reagan Shoemaker, as Bretons and Garvey take a seat. Tied up at four, 6.25 left in the first quarter. Macy Gore. And now Lippy will take the ball up the floor. Lippy passing over to the left side, Tori, and have a whistle underneath the basket. I think it's a foul on Tulsa. And it's going to be a foul on Maddie Biddle, her first, and the team's first. So ORU will take the ball out of bounds underneath the basket. Gore finally passes to the safety and Kirkhart in between the circles. Passes right side Tori. Tori drives it in the lane. Her floater is off the mark. Rebound's knocked around, and we have a foul on the rebound as Brady came down with it, but then was hit in the back. And Tori is the one who commits the foul, so it's her first foul. And the team's first. Tied up at four, 6.08 left as both teams. Lots of turnovers so far. A couple of turnovers on each side and two for five from the field. Into the left corner and, oh, she was standing out of bounds as Brady had it from Lewis, but Brady was standing on the sideline right in front of the ORU bench and gets called out of bounds. So still tied at four, under six minutes left in the first quarter. Macy Gore passing onto the right side. Kirkhart looking down low. Nothing's there, so passing back out. Off the screen, Gore passes to the top of the key, Tori. Tori in between the circles, moves over to her right. Now having a lot of trouble, finally finds Kirkhart left side. Kirkhart, seven to shoot down the left side of the lane. Picks up her dribble, hands it off to Lippy. She drives to the basket and is blocked by Elliott. Goes up again and is blocked again, but she traveled before that with two seconds left on the shot clock. Turns it over, Tulsa ball. 5.30 left in the first quarter, still tied at four. Both teams struggle to score so far as Mo Bratons has all four of ORU's points, but she's on the bench. For Tulsa, all four have come from Desiree Lewis. And Lewis now has the ball on the left block, passing back out, wide open, Biddle for three, off the back of the rim, top of the backboard, finally comes down. Coming up with it is, is Lewis, and she gets fouled by Lippy as she tried to rip the ball away. Kenny Jo Lippi picks up her first foul, and it's the team's second. And Misty Cusson can't believe that call. And Tulsa with the ball underneath the basket. Elliott goes down low into Lewis. She turns into the lane, shoots, and cannot get the little bunny to go. Shoemaker gets the rebound and a foul in the backcourt. As a push here from Alexis Golden, her first, and the team's second. 5.04 left to go in the first quarter, still tied at four. Both teams struggle to score. Macy Gore brings the ball up the floor, here for ORU. Gore standing on top of the Tulsa U in the middle of the floor, passes right side to Torrey, into the high post to Lippy. Lippy out past the three-point line, passing left side, a quick three from Gore is good. Gore, a 23% three-point shooter, hits that one, and ORU now up 7-4. 4.40 left in the first. Tulsa's now gone over two minutes without scoring. Golden brings the ball up the floor here for Tulsa. Golden moves over to her left, comes off the screen, still with her dribble, trying to come off the screen again, passing into the short corner. Lewis drives the baseline, spins, and is met by a double team, goes up, and cannot get the little short shot to go off the block right side, and again, it's rebounded by Shoemaker. Over onto the right side, cross court pass to the left side. Tori from the corner, the three is no good. Rebounded by Golden, and now she's off and running here for Tulsa. Golden driving into the lane, kicks it into the short corner right side. Biddle takes the 15 footer. It's off the mark, and rebounded by Lippy for ORU. And back the other way, Lippy pushing it. Passing right side, Kirkhart drives in the lane, bounce pass into the left corner. The three from Gore, in and out. Offensive board, Lippy. She goes up left side and good. 9-4 ORU now on top of Tulsa. 3.45 left in the first quarter. Alexis Golden brings the ball up the floor, slowing things down just a bit, passing right side to Brady, and now into the down low into Elliott. She turns face to the basket, cannot get her little shot to go, and Tulsa again ice cold as they were in the second half against Oklahoma State, and the cross-court pass is tipped by Elliott, and then off the fingertips of Kirkhart, out of bounds off of ORU, and it's... Tulsa ball when we come back, 9-4. to four. ORU leading Tulsa, 325 left in the first quarter. So Tulsa 
with the ball. Down nine to four. Rebecca Lasky passes off to Brady and now to Biddle, left side three is off the front rim. Rebounds knocked around and coming up with it is Richard. She goes up, is blocked, goes right to Lasky in the right short corner and she tries to reset things back out to Brady. Brady slows things down now. Brady passing left side, Biddle. Biddle passes into the high post, back out right side, Lasky met by a double team, passing back out. Brady now wants to drive, her floater in the lane. She gets hammered, but no call, and it's off the front rim, no good. And here comes Oral Roberts. Rachel Skalnick brings the ball up the floor here for ORU. Skalnick running the point now, passing right side, Kirkhart. Over into the right corner, Tori. Tori passes into the low post and down low into Brotons. And Brotons gets it taken away by Maddie Biddle for Tulsa. Outlet pass to Lasky, left side. Lasky drives across the lane, loses the ball a bit, may have gotten away with the travel, but passes back out to Brady. ORU defense was swarming on that last possession, not so much on this one. Into the short corner. Elliott, been silent so far. Elliott tries the reverse layup, can't get it. Good defense there from the Golden Eagles as the rebound comes down to Brotons. Now bringing the ball up is Carly Gore, sister of Macy, and she passes left side to Riley Torrey. Takes the three off the back rim, high rebound goes out of bounds and will go to Tulsa off the hands of Kirkhart. And now Kenny Joe Lippi comes back in, and Lippi will come in for Riley Torrey. Tulsa down 9-4, to 155 left in the first as Tulsa has missed its last 10 shots and haven't scored in about five minutes. Brady hands it off left side to Biddle. Biddle, top of the key. Going over to Lasky right side, and Lasky travels. Didn't put the ball down quick enough. And now coming back into the game is Alexis Golden, coming in for Morgan Brady. 9-4, Tulsa trailing ORU with 142 left in the first quarter. Rachel Skalnick will bring the ball up the floor here for ORU. Guarded by Biddle. Passes right side to Kirkhart. To Lippi, and now onto the left side, it's Carly Gore. Gore up to the top of the key. Skalnick drives the right side, loses it out of bounds, and will stay with ORU. And now Tulsa has another sub. KK Rodriguez comes in for the first time today. Coming in for Maddie Biddle. 126 left of the first. Inbound comes into Lippi. Lippi lost it for a moment, and now she does as KK Rodriguez comes up with a steal. Tough pass into Lasky and didn't have the numbers, passing back out. Top of the key, Golden. Golden off the screen, now passes into the high post, Elliott, and back out to the point. Golden left side, Rodriguez. Rodriguez throws one down low into Elliott, finds Lasky. 15 footer from the free throw line is good. Give the assist to Kendry and Elliott, and Tulsa finally. Puts one in the basket and is down 9-6 to six with less than a minute to go in the first quarter. Lippi looks to drive, gets it knocked away from her, goes right to Gore into the top of the key. Sigalnik back to Gore, right side. Gore spins as she drives, passing back out and over to the left side. Kirkhart on to Lippi at the point. Lippi has a screen for her. She gets it now, goes down the left side, gets kicked out of bounds, and will go to Tulsa. Hit off the foot of Lippi. 37 seconds left. Of the first quarter, Tulsa trailing ORU 9-6. And this is a terrible offensive first quarter here for Tulsa, but luckily it's been kind of that way for ORU too. They have seven turnovers here in the first quarter. KK Rodriguez at the point. Moves to her left. Now picks up her dribble in some trouble, hands it off to Golden. Golden stops at the top of the key. Some fancy dribbling, now tries to drive and gets draws a foul here on Kirkhart, her first, and the team's third. So, 19.7 seconds left. Tulsa will try to hold for the last shot. As KK Rodriguez inbounds into Elliott, and now to Golden. Back to Rodriguez, and Rodriguez traveled. Took an extra step as she received that pass before putting down that dribble. So now 14.8 seconds left of the first quarter, and now ORU will try to hold for the last shot as Kirkhart comes out. Coming in is Sarah Garvey, three-point specialist for ORU, making two and a half per game. 13 seconds left, Lippi brings the ball up the floor. Lippi looking to drive, spins into the lane, goes up with the right hand and good. 
Seven seconds left. Tulsa needs to hurry. Down 11 to six. Four seconds left. Golden from in between the circles shoots the three. It's off to the right side, and that is the first quarter. ORU leads after one. It's 11 to six. This is T Women's Basketball from Learfield IMG College. ORU starts with the ball. Is inbound comes into Macy Gore. Gore passes right side to Tory, and into the high post Lippy. Lippy steps out past the three-point line, now looks to drive. Cut off at the elbow by Lasky. Off the screen, passing back to Lippy left side, trying to pass one down low, met by a double team, and it's stolen away by Lewis. Up to, Le to Golden, long pass to Lasky. It's tip still gets to her. The layup right side can't go. Too strong off the glass. And rebounded by ORU, Sarah Garvey. Garvey gets it in transition right side. Garvey trying to go down low into Bretons, gets it to her on the right block, passing back out over the right side again. Garvey takes the three and hits it. Sarah Garvey, fourth in the conference in threes made in the Summit League, and she has ORU up 14-6 with 9-10 left in the second quarter. Lasky over on the top of the key, passing right side Rodriguez into the high post, Elliott. Elliott turns, faces the basket, and back out to Golden. Golden picks up her dribble, forces, tries to force a pass inside, and it's knocked around, and finally coming up with the steal is Macy Gore. Gore brings the ball up the floor, passing into the left corner, Tori. Tori doesn't like what she sees down low. She'll try to drive across the lane and foul on the dribble here on Lasky. It's her first and the team's first. So Maddie Biddle, Morgan Brady, and our first look at Destiny Johnson today come in as Golden, Lasky, and Rodriguez all take a seat. So the backcourt all changes. Inbound comes in and goes right back to Macy Gore, tries a three-pointer and air balls it. And there for the rebound is Brady. Long pass into Destiny Johnson, and what a shot there from Johnson as she was nearly all the way underneath the basket and still laid it in on the left side. Great shot there from Destiny. It's 14-8. ORU leading Tulsa, 8.20 left in the first quarter. Entry pass down low and a foul on the pass. So they went down low into Brotons and a foul on Kendra and Elliott, her first. And the team's second. 8.17 left. And the second quarter, Tulsa down by six. ORU ball. Gore inbounds left side to Garvey. Back up to the top of the key, Tory. Tory. Finds Lippy right side. Lippy goes to her dribble. Back out. Tori takes the three, and she hits one. Riley Tori, who's a 46% three-point shooter, first in the conference in threes made, has ORU up 17 to eight with eight minutes left of the second. Brady on the left side, passing off to Johnson. Back out to Brady, and Brady moves to the middle of the floor, passing right side to Biddle. Biddle now moves to the middle of the floor, passing back over to the right and into the corner. Brady. Down low, into Elliott, backing her way down, met by the double team, and finally she puts one up and in. Elliott on the board after going 0 for her first three, now has her first points, and Tulsa's down by seven, 17 to 10. 7.30 left in the second quarter. Kenny Joe Lippi passing left side to Tory. Tory back up towards the top of the key, over to the right side, Gore. Gore now goes to her dribble, and a foul here on Destiny Johnson, her first. Team's third called for the reach in. As Reagan Shoemaker now comes in for Protons. Oh, are you really doing this four out, one in set as Protons and Shoemaker trade minutes. Gore at the point, into the high post for Shoemaker. Shoemaker looking to find a guard to pass it off to and is able to find Tory. Tory on the left wing, forces a pass into the high post for Lippy. Lippy. Looking to drive down the left side, spins in the lane, and she traveled. Took an extra step on that pivot, and it's Tulsa ball. 17-10, ORU leading Tulsa, seven minutes left of the second quarter. Morgan Brady brings the ball up the floor. Brady passing right side, Johnson, back up to Brady, top of the key. Brady passing off to the left side for Biddle. Biddle moves over to her right. Passing back over to the left, Johnson into the low post for Lewis and back out to Biddle, right side, three is good. Maddie Biddle hits the three, first three-pointer today for Tulsa. As 
They are now one of five from long range. And now the quick shot from Garvey's no good. Rebound goes out past the three-point line. And finally getting it is Macy Gore. Garvey down low into Bretons. Bretons trying to take a charge was Brady, and she gets called for a block. Are they going to count the bucket? And they're going to say no. And are they going to say it was on the floor? No, the ball, no, they are going to count the basket as they do say she was shooting. Morgan Brady gets the call for the foul. It's her first. And the team's fourth. And now Kirkhart comes back in for Sarah Garvey. 19-13, and to the free throw line is Reagan Shoemaker. Two of six so far this year as a team. ORU first in the Summit League, 79%, and she banks it in. 20-13, ORU up by a touchdown with 6-18 left in the second quarter. Brady tries to pass right side. It's kicked by Kirkhart. They'll keep the shot clock at 24. And it'll be Tulsa ball from the sideline. Right near the ORU bench. Inbound comes in to Morgan Brady. Over to the left side. Lewis tries to drive, dribbles it off her foot, and saving it from going out of bounds is Lippy passing it up to Torrey. And now Gore right side. Gore drives across the lane, goes up the left hand, and able to flip it up and in over the top of both Brady and Elliott was there too. 22-13, ORU leading Tulsa. Less than six minutes left of the second. Brady. Passing right side, Johnson. Here comes the trap, and it works. As it, Brady turns the ball over. Gore gets the steal. Gore leaving it for Lippy in transition. The three-pointer is no good. Offensive board for ORU with Torrey. Passing back to Lippy. Drives to the basket. Draws the foul on Johnson, and she'll go to the free throw line. As Destiny Johnson picks up her second foul. It's the team's fifth, and so not even midway through the second quarter, ORU in the bonus. And now Alexis Golden... And Addison Richards come back into the game. Lewis and Brady take a seat. Also, KK Rodriguez wants to come into the game. Rodriguez in for Destiny Johnson. So to the free throw line is Kenny Joe Lippi, a 74% free throw shooter. And this is that one. Junior guard from eight air, and she missed them both. Both off the mark and rebounded this one by Alexis Golden. Golden dribbles through the press and draws a, a reach in foul on Katie Kirkhart, her second. Just the team's first for the second quarter. 22 13, ORU leading Tulsa, 5 33 left in the second. As Golden gets the inbound. Golden now goes to her dribble. Passes off to Elliott. Elliott met by a double team well up past the basket. Hands it off to Rodriguez, and Rodriguez travels. And she tried to pick up her dribble and just stumbled a bit. Just a little off balance, and Kirkhart now comes out of the game, and Sarah Garvey comes back in for ORU. 22-13, Golden Eagles over the Golden Hurricane. 5-21 left in the second. And Macy Gore brings the ball up the floor. Gore passing off to Lippy. And on to the left side, Garvey. Garvey off the screen, goes to the middle of the floor, backs up, passes left side, Lippy. Lippy now with her dribble, goes to the middle of the floor and tries to pass it back out, and she travels. As Kenny Jo Lippy has been called for several traveling calls here today. And Lippy has now turned the ball over seven times in just 15 minutes. Golden brings the ball up the floor. Tulsa down 22-13. Golden thought about the three, passes right side, Rodriguez into the high post, Richards down the right side, mid-range jumper, rolls around and falls in. 22-15, Tulsa trails, 4.44 left in the first half. Lippy passing left side to Torrey, Torrey off the screen, little stutter step at the free throw line and passes right side, Garvey gets it back, Torrey off the screen, now looks to drive down the left side of the lane, throws up a wild shot and draws the foul on Addison Richards. And didn't look like Richards liked that call at all. It's her first foul. And we'll have a couple of free throws coming here. And we'll take a break first. 427 left of the second quarter. And ORU leading Tulsa. It's 22 to 15. This is 
to you women's basketball from Learfield IMG College. So free throws coming here for ORU as Riley Torrey steps up to the line. Torrey is a perfect 13 for 13 from the free throw line. And he's, she's here to shoot two. And first one is good from Torrey. It's been a great three-point shooter this year. First in the conference and threes made. And she made six against Wichita State, most in the Summit League this year. She makes them both. 24-15, ORU leading Tulsa. 425 left in the second quarter. And Alexis Golden running the point. Golden passes off to her right to Rodriguez. Rodriguez passes up to the top of the key, over onto the left side for Golden. Golden looking to drive. Hands it back out. Elliott in the high post. Passes back out past the perimeter. Rodriguez off the screen. Moves to the middle of the floor. Now she wants to drive down the left side. Finds a little opening. Goes up. Gets fouled. And she'll go to the free throw line. Shoot two. Foul here is on Macy Gore. Her first. And the team's second. And now Aline Hrapkowstroder comes into the game. And she comes in for... Henry and Elliott, I think, is sitting for the first time. So KK Rodriguez to the free throw line, 0 for 2 on free throws this year. And she misses this one off the back rim. Rodriguez, sophomore guard from St. Louis. Second one for Rodriguez. That one is good. So she's able to make her first free throw of the year. And Tulsa's down 24-16, four minutes left of the second. And now it's Carly Gore running the offense here for ORU. Off the screen goes Riley Torrey, top of the key, passing right side to Macy Gore. So Macy and Carly into the game, both sisters. Garvey passing to the top of the key. Off the screen goes Torrey, takes the three. It's off the back rim, and rebound is snatched away by KK Rodriguez. Rodriguez, cross court pass is tipped, but Elliott still able to get it. Elliot, or excuse me, it's a golden, I should say. On to the right side, Rodriguez. Down low, into Richards, and back out to Biddle. Krapkow Soder, top of the key, left side. Golden takes the three. It's a long one. It's off the back rim and rebounded by Macy Gore, passing off or by Carly Gore. It's now passed off to Macy Gore. Back to the top of the key. Carly takes the three. No good. And a uh, foul on the rebound as K.K. Rodriguez came down with it and was fouled by Macy Gore, her second foul, and the team's third. So back into the game is Mo Bratons coming in for Reagan Shoemaker. Also coming out is Macy Gore with the two fouls as Rachel Skalnick comes in. 24-16, ORU leading Tulsa, three minutes left of the second. Alexis Golden brings the ball up the floor. Golden. Goes away from the screen, found a little opening, but then tried to pass it. It was tipped away, and coming up with the steal is Torrey, and we have a jump ball as Golden was able to get her hand in there, but possession arrow favors Tulsa, so they'll keep it. 2.51 left in the second. Shot clock has been reset. Golden inbounds into Hrapkow Stoder. Onto the right side, Rodriguez. KK. Passes to the top of the key, left side, Golden, and Golden travels with it as she bobbled the ball a bit on the pass and just mishandled it and walked with it for a couple of steps. 2.44 left in the second. ORU leading Tulsa 24-16. Rachel Skalnick brings the ball to the floor. Skalnick on the right side, comes off the screen, goes to the top of the key, passing left side to Torrey. Torrey. Takes the three, thought about taking the, the screen, shoots it, and nails it. Riley Torrey, her second three-pointer today, and ORU starting to run away with this one up 27-16. 2.18 left in the second, and Tulsa has hit four of its last five shots, but just can't seem to get a shot up without turning the ball over. Right side, Biddle, to the top of the key, Torrey, or to top of the key, Rodriguez, off the screen. Over to the left side, it's Biddle. Back up to Rodriguez. Rodriguez looking to drive down the right side, able to turn the corner, but can't make the layup. Ball bounces out past the three-point line to Biddle. Rodriguez takes the three as the shot clock goes off, air balls it long, and out of bounds. Kendry and, Rod uh, Kendry and Elliott comes in back into the game. 
as Elaine Hrafdahl Stoder comes out. 27-16, ORU leading Tulsa, 1.47 left of the second. On to the right side, Torrey, end of the high post. Carly Gore across the lane, left side goes up off the glass and good. So Tulsa hasn't scored in about two and a half minutes. ORU leads 29 to 16 with a minute and a half left of the second quarter. Biddle tries a long pass right side, gets to Elliott and back out to Biddle. Rodriguez left side into the high post Elliott. Elliott goes to her dribble, drives on the right side, gets hacked on the arm and now she'll go to the free throw line as she's fouled by Brotons, her first and the team's fourth. Now Desiree Lewis in. Rebecca Lasky come back into the game as Biddle and Addison Richards take a seat. So Kendra and Elliott at the free throw line, a 72% free throw shooter. Tenth best in the conference. Makes the first one. Tulsa as a team shooting 63% from the free throw line. That's seventh best in the 12-team American Athletic Conference. Second one coming from Elliott. That one also good, so she makes them both, and Tulsa needed both of those. Tulsa down 29 to 18 with 113 left. Garvey's running the offense here for ORU. Garvey passing onto the right side, Torrey. End of the high post, and a traveling violation here on Carly Gore. 103 left in the second. Tulsa trying to just cut down this lead before half. Down 29 to 18 with a minute left. Golden running the offense here against the zone into the high post. Elliott hands it back off and taking the three is Golden. It's off the back rim and rebounded by Garvey. Brings the ball up the floor herself with 40 seconds left, a 16 second difference between shot clock and game clock. Pass on to the right side into the high post. Gore. Backs her way down to the left block. Goes up and gets blocked as Kendry and Elliott comes flying in for the block shot. Lesky comes up with it. Lesky loses it but gets to Golden. And now Tulsa can hold for the last shot if they want. And Coach Mossman trying to yell at her team saying to hold for the last shot. As there is a one second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Golden moves to her right. Golden slips one inside into Elliott. She shoots little mid-range jumper, no good, rebounded by Gore. And we have a travel with three-tenths of a second left before the half. And both teams are going to sub. They decide not to now. So Tulsa will have it at midcourt. Inbound comes in, and that'll be the first half as ORU leads Tulsa at the half. 29 to 18. We'll take a break in. When we come back, we'll sit down and we'll talk with Alexis Golden, who has a couple of rebounds and an assist. And just 0 for 2 from the field so far, both of them three pointers. We'll talk about her having to sit out that first game and then struggling against Arkansas State before kind of getting things together against Oklahoma State. We'll talk about all of that with Alexis Golden right after this. As Tulsa trails at the half, 29 to 18. This is T Women's Basketball from Learfield, IMG College. Arsula Clark from Tulane. As ORU starts with the ball and an 11 point lead, 29 to 18. So we start the second half. Mo Bratons passing onto the left side for Macy Gore. Gore passing back up to the top of the key for Garvey, and Garvey travels. So Tulsa will take over on the turnover right out of the gate. Tulsa down 29 to 18. And Need to solve something offensively. He's just shooting 29% from the field and had 12 turnovers in the first half. And Tulsa starts with a turnover themselves, but Alexis Golden tried to pass it down low. It was stolen away by Brotons, and then she immediately ties up Macy Gore on the entry pass. So on the uh, outlet pass, I should say, but it'll be Tulsa ball. Thanks to heads-up play there from Alexis Golden after turning the ball over. So Tulsa ball underneath the basket, Golden. Looking to inbound. So they force it inside into Lewis. She gets blocked by Brotons, and the ball squirts out to Lippy. On to the right side. Garvey tries to drive, passes it over to the left side, and a foul as Gore went up underneath the basket. And the foul is on Kendry and Elliott. Her second, team's first. 
So to the free throw line here is Macy Gore. A perfect five for five from the free throw line this year. Gore, freshman from Toluga, Oklahoma. And she makes the first one. Both her and her sister Carly, freshman here at ORU. Easy to tell them apart though. Macy, blonde hair and Carly, dark black hair. And Macy's a, a lefty and she makes her second free throw. It's 31-18. ORU leads Tulsa, 9-28 left in the third quarter. And here comes KK Rodriguez to start the second half. Over to Lewis, tried to pass one into the low post. It goes over her head into Macy Gore. Gore drives coast to coast, kicks it back out. A three from Garvey is no good. And ball ends up in the hands of Gore. Back out to Garvey. Garvey drives, spins, still with her dribble. Now backs up, shoots a long two. It's good. And it's 33-18. to 18. Tulsa trailing ORU with nine minutes left of the third. Alexis Golden, top of the key. Passes up to the top. High post and uh, Kendry and Elliott down low into Lewis. Lewis across the lane, goes up with the right hand and good off the glass. It's a move that she was really good at last year and was able to get back-to-back -back Freshman of the Week awards due to moves like that. It's 33-20, to 20, Tulsa trailing ORU. Into the high post, Bratons passing back out, trying to drive. Gore kicks it into the corner. Garvey shoots and hits another three. Her second three today, and Tulsa takes its first timeout. So we'll take a timeout as well. 8.22 left in the third quarter. ORU leading Tulsa 36 to 20. This is T Women's Basketball from Learfield IMG College. Back in the Rental Center for the Mayor's Cup as ORU leads Tulsa 36 to 20. As we're early into the second half, 8.22 left in the third quarter as Tulsa has a couple of turnovers here in the in the quarter. They're one of two from the field, and ORU has come out with seven points already as they've gone two of three from the field, hit a three-pointer, have hit a couple of free throws as well. They've also turned the ball over twice, but they're outscoring Tulsa 7-2 to two in this third quarter early on after outscoring Tulsa 18-12 to 12 in the second quarter. So Tulsa's got to get something together both offensively and defensively. And Tulsa will have the ball underneath the basket needing to go the length of the floor. As Desiree Lewis will look to inbound into Alexis Galden. Tulsa down by 16. And a lot of that might be due to Kendry and Elliott not being here. Pretty quiet today, just four points, no rebounds so far. As she has had a double-double in all three games so far. Golden passing left side to Biddle. Back out to Golden, top of the key. Golden looking to drive, tries to pass it down low. It's low and hits the shin of Lewis. Ball still knocked around, but coming up with it is Elliott and passing back out to Brady. Brady passing back down low into Lewis, drives across the lane and lays it in right side. As that was one of those ORU possessions where everyone is just flying all around the ball. It looks very scattered and hectic, and now just a, a bad dribble there from Gore, and it goes right into the hands of Brady. She drives coast to coast, tries to lay it up no good, but there to clean it up is Maddie Biddle. So a quick four points here from Tulsa, trying to get back in it, down 36-24, 7.40 left of the third quarter. Garvey left side into the high post, Bretons. Right side, Gore. Gore tries to drive. Kicks it back out, Lippy wide open for three, off the front rim, and rebound is tipped out of bounds and hits off of Tory first, but trying to get a hand on it was Brady. It goes out of bounds off of her fingertips, and will stay with ORU. Inbound comes into Lippy. Lippy drives, goes up, and lays it in left side. As I don't think Tulsa was really ready on defense there. It was a quick throw in, and Lippy was able to drive to the basket and go in. It's 38-24, 7-12 left in the third. Golden passing right side to Brady. Brady moves back to the middle of the floor and into the corner. Golden drives the baseline, goes up, gets fouled, and she'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. Fouls on Riley Torrey, her second. 
team's first. And now Rebecca Lasky comes in for Maddie Biddle. So Golden to the free throw line where she's seven of eight this year. Senior guard from Broken Arrow, the former Tiger. And her first is good. Alexis Golden hasn't made a three-pointer today, but she's fifth most in TU history in threes made. Second one, off the back rim, no good. Rebound, uh, foul on the rebound. And it's going to be on Desiree Lewis. Her first foul, team second. Tulsa trails 38 to 25, 701 left of the third. Full court pressure here from Tulsa, and really just going one on one with Brady. Be able to get it across easily with Lippy. And on to the left side, Tori. Tori passing back to Lippy, left side. Lippy and back to Tori in the middle of the floor. Tori at the top of the key, right side, Garvey off the screen. Garvey backs up, takes the step back three off the back rim, and Rebounded by Laskaya, she ripped it away from Lippi. Laskaya brings the ball up the floor herself, met by a double team, spins away from it, on to Golden. She tries the step back three. It's short air balled out of bounds. She forced it. 38-25. Tulsa trails ORU, trying to get back in it. ORU's outscored Tulsa in the third, 9-7. Lippi across midcourt. Over on the left side. Trying to back her way down on the sky and now passes back out to Tori. Tori off the screen to her right. Passing right side to Gore now on the wing. Gore gets a screen to her left. She tries to drive into the lane. Tries to pass it back out. It's tipped away by Golden. Goes right back to her and a travel from Riley Tori right before she shoots the three. And <laughs> Tori looks to her coach, Misty Cousin, and Coach Cousin just Gives her a shrug, says, I don't know. <laughs> so, <laughs> still it's a ball. 38-25 coming out of the game is Sarah Garvey. As Katie Kirkhart comes back in. Elliott in the high post. Hands off to Morgan Brady. Goes down low into Lewis. Back out, top of the key. Long two is in and out from Elliott. And it's rebounded by Gore. Up to Kirkhart. Cross-court pass right side. Torrey for three in the corner off the back rim. Rebounded by Golden up to Lasky. Lasky trying to drive to the basket. Doesn't have the numbers. Now she looks to drive, and she was hacked twice as she was going to the rim. She lays it up and in, and she was pulled by her waist. No call there. She was hacked on the arm as she tried to shoot. No call there. Still was able to make it. Lippy drives to the basket. She's blocked out of bounds by Elliott. Great block shot there from... Kendry and Elliott, and now coming out of the game is Kenny Joe Lippi coming in, is Carly Gore. And now Rachel Skownick comes in, and Macy Gore takes a seat. 38-27, ORU leading Tulsa, 5-18 left. Third block of the game from Kendry and Elliott. Kirkhart, back out to Brotons. Brotons passes back out, gets it right back, and it gets poked out of her hands by Golden. Golden with the steal. Golden leading the three on two. Passes to Brady in the left corner. And now it's five on five. Elliott down low into Lewis. And Lewis travels in the lane. Lewis trying to back her way down. Shuffled her feet first. And that'll take us to a break. Five minutes exactly left in the third quarter. ORU leading Tulsa. It's 38-27. This is T Women's Basketball from Learfield IMG College. You in. Next men's home game will be on Wednesday, November 27th against South Carolina State at 1 p.m. For the women, their next home game is Monday, November 25th against Loyola Marymount at noon. So a couple of afternoon games for both basketball teams. As Tulsa is trailing ORU 38 to 27. Trying to come back in this one. It'll be ORU ball trying to go the length of the floor. Tulsa comes out in full court pressure as Kenny Joe Lippi looks to inbound and a foul on the... Inbound as it's on Morgan Brady. Her second foul, the team's third, is she held Rachel Skalnick. So Skalnick will now try to get the inbound, but coming up to get it is Tori. Tori tries to pass it and it's stolen away by Lewis. Lewis off to Brady. Brady drives to the basket. Left-handed layup is good. 
Tulsa turning the ball over in the backcourt. 38 to 29. Now a trap coming. Able to get it across to Lippy. Lippy cross court pass. The three pointer from Carly Gore is good. In transition, Gore hits the three and makes Tulsa pay. 41 29. And now it's Golden driving. Finds Lasky cutting to the basket. Back out. Brady takes a corner three and it's good. Morgan Brady with the answer. 41% three point shooter. Eighth best in the conference. Makes her first three pointer. So Tulsa back down by just nine and now foul away from the ball. And it's on Rebecca Lasky. Her second foul on the team's fourth. Called for a push in the back there on Kenny Joe Lippi. So now Lippi will inbound from the sideline across from the ORU bench. Inbound comes into Skalnik. Skalnik at the point. Has to back off to Lippi. Right side, Riley. Riley looking down low. Gets it in to Lippi. Lippi looks to drive. Tries to pass it away. It's knocked away by Elliott. Gets into the hands of Golden. Golden leading the charge. Passing right side, Brady. Down low. Lewis on the right block. Loses it as she was falling out of bounds. And it, it's... Stolen away by Brotons and then travel from Riley Torrey in the backcourt as she tried to get it up the floor. So Tulsa benefits. A little unforced error there on ORU and now Addison Richards comes into the game. And going to the bench is Desiree Lewis also going to the bench with Skalnik. The inbound comes into Elliott. And it's coming back in was Macy Gore. Brady on the left side. Hands it off to Golden to run the offense. Golden goes into the high post. Elliott turns, faces the basket, drives to the basket, tries to go up, tries to draw the foul. No good. Gets her own rebound, though, and a foul on that rebound. And it's on ORU. And it's on Carly Gore, her first, team second. So ball underneath the basket now for Tulsa. 41-32, ORU leads Tulsa. Golden looking to inbound, having some trouble. Needs to get rid of it, just throws it to midcourt. It's tipped by Brady and unable to run it down. Out of bounds. So ORU ball. So he goes all the way into the front court, and again, it's across from the ORU bench. Kenny Joe Lippi looks to inbound and does into Macy Gore. Macy on the right side, off the screen. Draw, drops to her knees, but still able to get it to Brotons. Carly gets it right back to Macy, right side. Macy passes off to Brotons, gets it right back. Macy goes back to her right, tries to slip one down low, and no one was there. Brotons wasn't looking. It wasn't a good pass for her anyway. And ORU has now turned the ball over three times in the last minute and a half, six times in the last four minutes. 41-32, ORU leads Tulsa, 3:09. Left in the third. Tulsa trying to come back against these Golden Eagles. Brady on the left side. Pass up to the top of the key, Golden. Golden trying to slip one down low and jumping in for the pass was Carly Gore for the steal. Up to Macy. Macy brings the ball up the floor. Onto the left side. Back up to Carly. And Carly travels. And coming into the game is Sarah Garvey and over you head coach Misty Cusson telling our team, hey, slow down. And there have been so many traveling violations here today that the referees are really looking for that call here today. Just take another second. You won't have so many turnovers. So that's four turnovers in the last two minutes for ORU. Golden drives to the basket, draws the foul, and she'll go to the free throw line to shoot two. And foul here is on Mo Bretons, her second. Team's third. With 238 left. In the third, and Alexis Golden goes to the free throw line. One for two today, and eight for ten on the year. Our first one's off the back rim. And Golden knows that TU needs this one. Second one here for the senior. That one is good, so she goes one for two like she did in her first trip. Tulsa down by eight, 41-33. 2.35 left in the third. Gore passes right side to Sarah Garvey, and Garvey gets it knocked out of her hands by Golden. And out of bounds. So again, it's a cross from the ORU bench where Kenny Joe Lippi will inbound. 
Lippy inbounds right side, Macy Gore. Gore goes to the middle of the floor, passes over to her left side to Tori. Tori to the top of the key. And she gets it knocked away, trying to get to it, and a dive as we have a foul. I think it's going to be on Lippy as Lasky was trying to get to it, and she was being held. It's on Riley Tory, her third foul, and the team's fourth. So that's five turnovers in the last 225, eight turnovers in the last 509 for ORU. Tulsa Sarsini's turning these turnovers into points. Down 41 to 33. Golden. And she loses it as she tries to pass it off to her right. It's picked off by Garvey. And Garvey wildly throws it towards midcourt and unable to pick it up as Gore goes out of bounds. And it's Tulsa ball. Sloppy here. And now Golden will come out of the game. Destiny Johnson comes in. So Destiny Johnson, the freshman from Sand Springs, will run the point. Johnson passing right side to Addison Richards. Richards goes to the top of the key. Elliott back over to Johnson left side. Trying to go down low and a foul on the entry pass. And it's on Kenny Joe Lippi, her second foul, and the team's fifth, so free throw's now coming here for Tulsa. And going to the free throw line is Addison Richards, who's two for four on the season. Richards is senior from Bixby. And their first one's off the back rim. And have a new rule this year. And this one is good. Is can't make a sub in between the two free throws. You have to do it before the first one or you can do it after the second one. So that's when Carly Gore now can come in. Long pass and it's over the head of Sarah Garvey and it's another ORU turnover. And a timeout taken by ORU, it's first time out is. That's now seven turnovers in the last three minutes for ORU. 10 turnovers in the last 547. As ORU's trying to get Tulsa back in this one, but Tulsa hasn't had a field goal in the last three minutes, so it's been tough for Tulsa to try to get back in it, but ORU trying to let them back in it is they have 13 turnovers in this third quarter alone, and we still have a minute 36 left of it. But Tulsa's only outscored ORU 16 to 12 during that time. They're shooting well, 55% from the field. But they've turned the ball over six times themselves. Not a whole lot of flow to the game right now as Destiny Johnson runs the offense here for Tulsa. Johnson brings the ball up the floor with her left hand, moves over to her right, hands it off to Lasky, and now up to Morgan Brady. Brady goes away from the screen, finds Lasky in the short corner, drives, met by a double team, passes back out of it. Brady thought about the three. She drives to the basket, goes up, no good. Destiny Johnson with the tip in, can't get it in. Rebounded by Carly Gore. And the outlet pass here for ORU goes to Lippy. Top of the key, Macy Gore. Passing right side to Garvey. Back up to the top of the key, Carly. And her pass is tipped away by Lasky and out of bounds. 16 to shoot, 58 left in the third. Tulsa down 41-34. And pound comes into Garvey. And onto the right side, Macy Gore. Macy guarded closely by Destiny Johnson. And we have a foul. And maybe a hand check foul here on Destiny Johnson. Her third foul is the team's fifth. And so free throws now coming here for ORU and Macy Gore. And that's someone you don't want to put to the free throw line is. She's two for two today and seven for seven on the year. And her first is off the mark. The announcer Jinx got her. And now Maddie Biddle. Nope, nope. Again, that new rule. We have to wait for the second free throw. Is it is good by Gore. So she makes one of two. And now Maddie Biddle comes in for Destiny Johnson. Also coming out as Mo Bretons is coming in is Reagan Shoemaker. 42-34, less than a minute left of the third quarter. Tulsa trailing ORU. 
Brady on the left side, goes to the middle of the floor. On to the right side, Maddie Biddle, down low into Elliott on the right block and a foul on the entry pass. It's on Shoemaker. Her first foul. And Tulsa in the bonus, so it puts Kendrick and Elliott to the free throw line now. And now they get Riley Torrey into the game and for Carly Gore. Took the ball out of Elliott's hands to allow that substitution. So Elliott to the free throw line, shooting two. And misses the first one off the back rim. Tulsa struggling on these free throws here in this second half. Just three of seven on these free throws. Second one for Elliott. That one rattles around and falls in, gets the shooter's roll. Tulsa down by seven, 42-35. 35 seconds left of the third quarter. Tulsa trying to press. Lippy gets it across midcourt and draws a foul on Morgan Brady. He was trying to take a charge, but unable to get too much in front of her, so it's Brady's third foul, and now Kenny Joe Lippi goes to the free throw line. And Lippi is 0 for 2 for the free throw line today. 74% on the year, though. And now they want to come out and mop this up for a moment. And now Alexis Golden comes in for Morgan Brady for the last 30 seconds. So to the free throw line is, again, Kenny Jo Lippi. And she misses this one off the back rim. Second one here for Lippi, the junior from Adair. That one is good, so she goes one for two. And Garvey comes out. Kirkhart comes in for ORU. 43-35, Tulsa trailing ORU, 30 seconds left. About a half second difference between the shot clock and game clock, so Tulsa can hold for the last shot here. Golden passing left side to Biddle, into the high post. Elliott's wide open, takes a shot from the elbow and puts it in. 16 seconds left here in the third quarter. 43-37, 10 seconds as Lippy gets it across midcourt. Lippy, eight seconds left. Lippy looking to drive, left side, goes down the left side of the lane, goes up and lays it in off the glass. And Tulsa won't able to inbound it as ORU beats the clock and ORU now leads Tulsa 45 to 37 as Tulsa outscored ORU 19 to 16 back inside of the Reynolds Center as Tulsa trails ORU 45 to 37 Tulsa shot pretty well in that third quarter 7 of 14 for 50 percent ORU is also 50 percent they were 5 of 12 but had a ton of turnovers as ORU had 13 turnovers in that third quarter alone. As let's see how many points they got over those turnovers. As Tulsa was only able to turn those 13 turnovers into six points. As Tulsa could have used all of those turnovers into some points and would have been. A lot closer in this one, maybe even taking the lead if they could have converted a little bit more, but unable to do so as they were turning the ball over themselves. They turned the ball over six times in that third quarter. And ORU was only able to convert that into two points, but Tulsa has the formula to get the ball back at several times. But ORU down or ORU up, I should say, on Tulsa, 45 to 37. Last 10 minutes coming up. And it's Kenny Joe Lippi for ORU. Inbounds the ball into Macy Gore. Gore being guarded very closely by Alexis Golden. We have a foul. It's on Golden, maybe a, a hand check there. A little ticky tack foul there on Golden. Her second, team's first. So ORU now inbound from the sideline as Lippi inbounds it. And to Macy Gore again. Gore on to the right side. Tries to pass it to her left. It's knocked away by Lasky, and Golden comes up with the seal. It's a two on two. Golden goes to the basket herself. Their floater is good. Tulsa down 45 39 off another ORU turnover. 9.35 left. Lippy 
Passing left side to Macy Gore. Gore trying to drive. Goes to the short corner and passes back out to Lippy. Lippy off the screen from Brotons. Drives into the lane, back out Kirkhart. Kirkhart now wants to drive. Gets into the lane and she gets it knocked away by Lasky. Lasky gets by Gore. Goes to the basket herself, draws the foul. And she goes up as she's fouled by Riley Torrey. That's her fourth and the team's first. So now coming into the game is Sarah Garvey as Torrey will take a seat with four fouls. And to the line is Rebecca Lasky. Now here's where Tulsa really needs to get things going is the free throw line. They were just four of eight in the third quarter. And she misses this one. Lasky's first free throw of the year is off the mark, and she was a 57% free throw shooter last year. And this one is no good as well as Lippy goes and gets the rebound. So Tulsa stays down by six, 45 to 39. Lippy drives to the basket, goes up and gets blocked by Elliott, but she's get called for a foul. And it's Elliott's third foul, team second call for a block as Lippy jumped into her. And now coming back into the game is Mo Bratons. And Reagan Shoemaker comes out as Kenny Jo Lippy to the free throw line where she's just one of four. Usually a much better free throw shooter than that. Makes the first one. She's 74% on the year coming in. Second one, also good. So she makes them both. And Tulsa's up 47 to 39 with nine minutes left. Alexis Golden for Tulsa. Brings the ball up the floor, passing the right side to Lasky. Back over to Golden. Golden crosses over, passing left side for Biddle. Into the high post. Elliott. Trying to look down low and said she'll just shoot the three. Off the front rim, no good. Offensive board, Lasky, and her putback is good off the glass on the left side. Little turnaround jumper from the left block, and Tulsa's down six, 47-41. Lippy passing right side to Garvey, and a foul on the entry pass as Lippy fell down. As they're going to say she was pushed by Biddle, her second foul, and the team's third. And so Tulsa already with three fouls in the first minute and a half. In danger of putting ORU, the best free throw shooting team in the Summit League, to the line often. So ORU with the ball out of bounds. Underneath the basket, and Macy Gore looks to inbound. Gore inbounds into Kirkhart right side. Kirkhart drives into the lane, stops, and passes back out to Garvey right side. Garvey trying the entry pass, and it's not there. She traveled. Slid that pivot foot, and Tulsa takes over on the turnover. Again, ORU still turnover prone here in the second half, as they have been. Now with 16 turnovers in the second half. Golden on the right side. Lobs one down low into Lewis on the right block. Turns in the lane, shoots, gets a bucket, and the foul! And one! The foul here is on Kirkhart. Her third, team second. And a chance here for Desiree Lewis to pull ORU, or pull Tulsa within one possession of ORU. Desiree Lewis, one for two on the season on free throws. Her and one free throw, off the mark. Off the back rim, rebounded by Mo Bratons. And Tulsa remains down by four, 47-43, 8.06 left. Lippy passing onto the right side, Garvey. Back up to the top of the key, and Lippy travels. Another traveling call. Kenny Jo Lippy has 11 turnovers today. Most of them have been travels. Coming back into the game, Carly Gore for ORU as Katie Kirkhart takes a seat. So, chance to pull it within one possession. Down the right side of the lane goes Lasky, gets knocked out from behind her out of bounds, and will stay with Tulsa. The ball underneath the basket and maybe a little bit more shaded towards the corner in that right corner. Golden looks to inbound. Now throws one out past the three-point line where Elliott tracks it down. Golden gets it back, tries the long three off the front rim. Rebound is tipped by Biddle, and Lewis comes in and grabs it, and we have a foul on Garvey as she smacked El uh, Lewis in the face trying to go for the ball. It's her first foul, team's third. 
So Tulsa keeps the ball and will inbound from across the Tulsa bench and a timeout taken by ORU. So we'll take a break as well. 7.39 left of the fourth quarter. Tulsa trailing ORU 47-43. This is T Women's Basketball from Learfield IMG College. As Rebecca Lasky will inbound it from right in front of me across from the Tulsa bench. Tulsa down by four. So Lasky looking and able to get it in to Golden. Lasky gets it back on the right side, drives in the lane, the spin, the bucket, and the foul! Rebecca Lasky on her birthday, number 21, turning 21, and gets the and one. So Lasky to the free throw line and a chance to make Tulsa down by just one. And one free throw's good. So Tulsa down by just one to ORU, 47 to 46. Lippy on the right side, passes off to Garvey. Garvey on the wing. Garvey back to Lippy, top of the key. And her pass is intercepted by Lasky. Lasky for the lead. The layup is good. And Tulsa's up 48 to 47. 7 12 left. Lippy right side. Onto the right side, Garvey. Back to Lippy. Top of the key three. And that's good. And ORU has the lead right back. Kenny Joe Lippy's first three of the game, and it's 50 to 48. ORU on top. Golden. Moves to her right, hands it off to Lasky. And over onto the left corner. Down low and a foul in the entry pass on Brotons. It's her third foul and the team's fourth. And, excuse me, I haven't miscounted. It's the fifth foul here for ORU. And Kendra and Elliott goes to the free throw line. 72% on the year, three for four today and a chance to tie it up. Makes the first one, Tulsa down by one. 50 to 49. Second one here for Elliott, also good. She makes them both, and Tulsa is tied up with ORU, 50 to 50, 642 left. Lippy on the right side, backing her way down. On Biddle and a travel, another travel call. And Kenny Joe Lippy is, Maddie Biddle is kind of trying to reach in there, try to take the ball away. And Lippy took an extra step. That's 13 turnovers alone on Kenny Joe Lippy. Golden, passing right side Elliott. Chance to take the lead here for Tulsa. All tied up at 50. Golden, lobs one into Elliott, down low, underneath the basket, goes up and puts it in. Tulsa up 52 to 50 on ORU. Tulsa was down by as many as 16 early in this second half. Lippy swipes it away and a foul here on Maddie Biddle, a reach in. It's her third, team's fourth. So now both teams will be in the bonus once this inbound comes in. 52 to 50, inbound comes in to Macy Gore. Gore on the right wing. Making her go right. Goes down low into Lippy. Turn around jumper in the lane, so good. Kendry and Elliott gets the rebound. Tulsa, a chance to extend the lead up 52 to 50. Golden, over on the right side. Biddle to the top of the key. Elliott looking down low, nothing there. She goes to the dri dribble herself. She's fouled and will go back to the free throw line. See who they call this foul on. It's coming back in is Riley Torrey. Tulsa on a 13-3 run as Carly Gore comes out. The foul was on Macy Gore, who has four fouls now. And Elliott's free throws off the back rim, no good. So Tulsa still up by two, 52-50. But a 13-3 run here for the Hurricane in the last three minutes. 
Make it a 14-3 run as Elliott makes the free throw. Tulsa up by three, 53-50, 40 left. Lippy brings the ball up the floor, guarded closely by Biddle. Lippy off the screen to her right, down the right side of the lane, kicks it into the corner for Garvey. Garvey dribbles out of the corner to the top of the key, passing left side to Gore. Gore goes to her dribble, lobs one down low into Bratons. Bratons is fouled on the floor, but either way it'll still be free throws and it's on Kendry and Elliott. It's her fourth, team's fifth. And now Tulsa won't gamble with Elliott being in the game. They're going to put Aline Hrapkow Stoder on her. And so, Bratons to the free throw line for the first time today. Five for six on the season. And our first one's off the front rim, no good. Tulsa up by three, 53-50, 21 left. Second one by Bratons is good. Katie Kirkhart comes in. And for Macy Gore. Gore with four fouls. As Macy Gore, Riley Torrey each have four fouls for ORU. Tulsa has Kendry and Elliott with four fouls. Laskai, right side, drives. Little stop halfway down the lane. Can't get the little shot to go as it hits off the back rim three times before falling off. So Tulsa remains up by two. Lippy passes over to her left. The three in the lead is no good from Garvey. Ball still bouncing around. Garvey comes up with it past the three-point line. Torrey back over to Lippy left side. Down low into Bratons. Bratons working on Harapkow Stoder. Bratons goes up off the glass too strong. Rebound bounced around. Flying in for it is... Golden, I think Golden's getting called call for the foul. It, she is. It's her third. And it's almost like they're saying she went over the back, but from the front. I'm not sure how that is called a foul, and she's not sure either. And so back to the free throw line is Mo Bratons. So Bratons. Just went one for two from the free throw line. Tulsa up by two. And her first off the front rim, just like her first trip. Tulsa leading by two, 4.43 left. Second one here by Bratons. Is good. So she goes one for two again and now comes out of the game with Reagan Shoemaker coming in. 53-52, Tulsa leading ORU, 440 left. Alexis Golden brings the ball up the floor. Golden, here comes that swarming defense, and the ball is tipped out of bounds by Garvey on the pass. Tulsa's hit five of its last seven shots, haven't turned the ball over at all in this fourth quarter, where ORU's turned it over six times. Inbound lobbed in high into the, to the air and goes right back to the sky, back to Golden. And now here comes that swarming defense, and it results in a turnover as Kenny Joe Lippy went up for the pass, got it, and came back down and knocked over Laskai, who gets called for a foul. It's Laskai's third, and the Tulsa bench can't believe it. And so now it's Kenny Joe Lippy's turn to shoot from some free throws. Krapkow Stoder comes out, Kenry and Elliott comes back in with four fouls and 425 left. And they need her in there. Tulsa up by just one, but two free throws coming here with Kenny Joe Lippi, who's three for six. She makes the first one to tie it up at 53. Second one for Lippi. Also good. Now ORU up by one, 54-53. And Alexis Golden walks the ball up the floor. Here comes the trap defense, passing to Laskai right side. Laskai dribbles through it, off to Golden. Golden trying to go back to Laskai, spinning around, and now it's tipped out of bounds. It will stay with Tulsa. To you down by one, 54-53. 15 to shoot here for the Hurricane. And Laskai will inbound from right in front of me on the sideline. Inbounds easily into Golden. Golden knocked over by Garvey, 
It's Garvey's second foul, and we'll put Alexis Golden to the free throw line. And so, Alexis Golden to the free throw line where she's two for four. And a chance to tie it here. Her first off the mark. Off to the right side, and so Golden now can tie it up with a free throw here. Second one here for Golden. That one is good, so we're tied. 54-54. Kirkhart comes out, and Macy Gore and her four fouls come in. Gore runs the offense here, passing off to Lippy, and on to the right side for Torrey. Torrey moves into the corner, hands it off, and now it's a trap. Tried to pass it away, and she bounced it off the sideline out of bounds. She tried to hit it off of Lasky. Lasky jumped out of the way. And the ball hit the sideline out of bounds. Tulsa ball. All tied up at 54 with 350 left. And Alexis Golden brings the ball up the floor. Golden, top of the key. Off to Lewis. And do we have a timeout? Looked like we had maybe a, a little bit of a collision. I'm not sure what happened there, but I think Elliott ended up on the floor, but no fouls. And now Kirkhart, they want Kirkhart to come in for Macy Gore. And I think they're playing an offense defense here as they want Kirkhart in there for defense, but they don't want Gore in there for defense and fear she would get a foul. So the inbound comes in to Golden. Golden trying to weave her way through this defense. Stops at the block, turn around, jumper is off the back rim, no good. Rebounds tipped around, Lasky comes up with it. Back to Golden on the left side. She lays it in, and Tulsa has the lead. 56 to 54. 322 left in the fourth. Lippy, top of the key. Comes over to Tori. Tori, and her pass is knocked away. Lasky comes up with it. The layup is good as it hung on the rim for a bit, but falls down. And Tulsa's now up by four, 58-54, three minutes left. Lippy drives into the lane, goes up off the glass and one. Lasky can't believe it. It's her fourth foul. And so to the free throw line now is Kenny Joe Lippy is Mo Bratons comes back in for Reagan Shoemaker. 256 left Tulsa, up by two, 58 to 56. Rebecca Lasky has 13 points today for Tulsa. And one free throw from Lippy is good. She's now made six free throws in a row after missing her first three. So Tulsa up by one, 58-57, 250 left, timeout, Tulsa. So Tulsa and ORU both with two timeouts remaining as we now will reset things here for you. Tulsa up 58 to 57. Both teams are in the bonus as Tulsa's committed eight fouls in the quarter. ORU has committed seven. Again, both teams with two timeouts. And Tulsa has the possession arrow here with 250 remaining. And Tulsa has dominated this fourth quarter 21 to 12 as Tulsa is shooting 8 of 12 from the field. I just wish their free throws had been a little bit better. As they're just 5 of 10 on free throws so far, but 8 of 12 from the field. A lot of those are coming on uncontested layups on steals. Tulsa's turned the ball over just once in the fourth quarter. ORU has 8 turnovers and 5 field goal attempts. That is where this game has switched, as Tulsa has been so good in this fourth quarter to come back. Rebecca Lasky, wow, on her birthday, 13 points, her career high is 15. She now has a career high, seven steals. Two assists, just one turnover. Happy birthday to you. 58-57, 250 left.
Tulsa up by one, and with the ball. The sky, cross court pass to Biddle left side. Inside, and Elliott, back out, Golden for three. Off the front rim, and offensive board for Elliott, back out, Biddle, and the sky goes to Golden. Over into the short corner, Lewis. Passes off to Elliott, reverse layup is good as it hung on the rim again just for a bit. Decided to fall in and Tulsa's up by three, 60 to 57, 224 left. Tulsa with full court pressure. Lippy brings the ball up the floor, guarded by Biddle. Lippy having trouble going to her left. Now she tries to drive. Leaves it into the corner for Torrey. It's knocked away by Golden, but it's picked up. Back over into the corner. Torrey shoots and hits the three and ties it at 60. Torrey with her third three today. 150 left. Lasky on the left side. Drives into the lane. The floater is good. That ties a career high. 15 points for Lasky. And now the lead. 62 to 60. 100 seconds left. Kenny Jo Lippi left side. She tries to pass it into the corner. It's knocked away by Golden, but coming up with it is Garvey for ORU. Garvey guarded closely by Golden. Garvey comes off the screen and back out to Lippi. 10 seconds to shoot. Oh, Tulsa up by two, 62-60. Lippi, four seconds, drives into the lane, gets blocked! It's blocked by Elliott. Coming up with it was Biddle and Tulsa. Has a two-point lead in the ball with a minute remaining. Golden at the point, passing right side, Biddle. Lasky in between the circles. Lasky moves over to her left, passing back out. Golden wants it herself. Golden met by a double team, finds Elliott for three, left side. It's air bold, Lasky was there, couldn't get it off in time. It would have been a perfect pass if they had two more seconds left, but 40.7 seconds left. Kirkhart comes out. Macy Gore comes in for ORU. And now the referees are going to talk something over. Are they going to talk it over on whether that ball hit the rim or not? Because if it did, that was an uncontested layup for Lasky, and I don't know if they're going to see if they hit the rim or if the time is correct. I don't think it hit the rim. I think it was a little bit short, but what a game by Rebecca Lasky. And the last game against Oklahoma State, Rebecca Lasky had virtually no stats. She had two points on one shot and a turnover and played two minutes and 17 seconds. Today, Rebecca Lasky off the bench, tying a career high 15 points on seven of nine shooting, five rebounds and a career high seven steals, all in just 23 minutes. And she has played a lot of this second half due to that defense. So 41.3 seconds left. Tulsa leading 62-60 ORU ball. And Macy Gore brings the ball up the floor. Gore looking for Lippy left side, not going to get it to her. Lippy now on the right side, trying to drive, back out, right side. Gore for three, and the lead, and she hits it. Macy Gore puts Tulsa up by one. 63-62, 24 seconds left. Timeout, Tulsa. A three-pointer there from Macy Gore, her second three today. She now has 11 points into double figures, and Tulsa takes a timeout. Down by one, 63-62, and it's going to come down to the last possession. What will Coach Mossman draw up here in this fourth quarter where they have been so good, outscoring ORU 25-18? 
forcing ORU into eight turnovers and just eight field goal attempts. Tulsa 10 of 15. Haven't hit a three-pointer yet. And Tulsa will have to go the length of the floor. And it'll be Golden running the point. 20 seconds left, down by one. Tulsa with the ball. Golden, guarded closely by Kirkhart. Golden, looking to drive, she's pushed! And she'll go to the free throw line with 13.7 seconds left. And Kirkhart picks up her fourth foul. And so, Alexis Golden will go to the free throw line with the chance to take the lead. And now, Macy Gore comes in as to Sarah Garvey coming out, Rachel Skalnick and Katie Kirkhart. So Golden at the free throw line where she's three of six today. And the first one is good. And we're tied at 63. Thirteen point seven seconds left. ORU has one timeout. Tulsa with two. Second one from Golden for the lead. Yes. And now a timeout taken by ORU. So ORU takes its final timeout. Tulsa has two, two timeouts remaining. As ORU takes its final timeout. Tulsa up by one, 64, 63, 13, Point seven seconds left. Nobody's fouled out just yet, but for Tulsa, Kendry and Elliott and Rebecca Lasky each have four fouls. For ORU, Riley Torrey, Macy Gore, and Katie Kirkhart each have four. But it will all come down to this last possession, and now what will Misty Cusson draw up here for her Golden Eagles? And Tulsa... Cannot foul here. ORU is the best free throw shooting team in their conference. Today, they're shooting 70%, 14 of 20, with three of those misses coming from Katie jo, Kenny Jo Lippi to start her day, but she's now six of nine after hitting six straight. So don't want to foul her. As the Mayor's Cup now enters the arena and is set behind the scorer's table here, with 13.7 seconds left. Tulsa up by one, 64-63. Can Tulsa force ORU into another turnover? They've advanced the ball to midcourt. And Kenny Jo Lippi is looking to inbound. The inbound comes into Gore. Gore with 10 seconds left. Goes to Lippi right side. She drives to the basket, goes up, she's fouled. And now she'll go to the free throw line with eight seconds left. It's on Maddie Biddle, her fourth. And now Katie Kirkhart, Rachel Skalnick come in. They go offense for def or defense for offense here with Gore and Garvey going to the free throw line. And so it's back to Kenny Joe Lippi, six for nine today from the free throw line. Lippy has 19 points, make it 20. Tied at 64, eight seconds left. Second one, also good. And a timeout taken by Tulsa now. As Tulsa now is down by one, 65, 64, eight seconds left and Tulsa will have to draw up something for a quick shot. Just eight seconds to go. And we'll see if Tulsa will try to Put one up with about two or three seconds left to have a chance at a tip in. A chance for an offensive rebound. Try to put it back in. As Tulsa has 11 offensive rebounds, leading to 11 second chance points today. And Tulsa will have the ball on the sideline across from the TU bench right in front of me. With eight seconds left, Tulsa's hit four of its last five shots. And looking for one more here. Down 65, 
64. Rebecca Lasky will inbound. And Lasky inbounds into Golden. Jump ball. Possession arrow favors Tulsa. Is the pass is a little bit behind Golden, but Golden and Skalnik tie each other up. Possession arrow favors Tulsa. 5.3 seconds left. And another timeout by Tulsa. This is the last one. 65-64, ORU leading Tulsa. 5.3 seconds left now as that last pass was a little bit behind Alexis Golden. She was able to get a hand on it to avoid a turnover, but got tied up. And now ORU has the possession arrow. As Tulsa tries to get one more, one more shot in here. And now with 5.3 seconds left, I don't know if you have time to set up something that would create a, an offensive rebound attempt. And now Alexis Golden will look to inbound. Same spot. Golden looks for Elliott. Gets it right back to Golden. Golden drives to the basket. Leaves it underneath. Lewis fouled. And one! 1.9 seconds left. Alexis Golden drives to the basket, slips it underneath to Desiree Lewis. What a pass underneath the basket, almost an impossible angle. Lewis gets the bucket and the foul. Oh my. And Lewis at the free throw line up by one. And one free throw's good. 67-65, no timeouts. ORU has to go the length of the floor. 1.9 seconds left. Nobody foul. Macy Gore throws it to half court. Carly Gore's shot, no good. It is almost in. It hit off the back rim, and Tulsa somehow wins the Mayor's Cup. 67-65. Holy cow. What a game as Tulsa came back from down 16 points early in the third quarter. And they win by two, 67 to 65. What a game. We'll be back, catch our breath, and go over all the totals for you as Tulsa is awarded the Mayor's Cup. This is T Women's Basketball from Learfield IMG College.